So let's check out the uh, new Luma AI tool. It is uh, a Sora-like uh, AI video generator called Tree Machine. Uh, like OpenAI Sora, it can generate videos from prompts. So you can create any type of videos you want, uh, just issuing your prompt. You can also give an initial image and then like as a starting point from the creation, for the creation. And so which is great that you can like create like videos of yourself right you can load an image of yourself and then uh, or of Tr donald trump <laughs> and like create some deep fakes with it uh, so it's it, it it sounds like a lot of fun right and um yeah but unlike sora open ai sora it's actually completely open to access so we can access it the catch is that it is has much much lower quality than open ai sora but let's let's have a look at at some examples that i generated with it i have prepared 10 examples for you. We will just go over the examples. Also, I use uh, like a, so a soundtrack generated with Suno AI, actually like a different engine. So we have some uh, music uh, overlay. This is created by my wife, like a acoustic Sourfront French ballad. Okay, so, so, so it is easy to use. You just click try now. You enter the prompt here of whatever you want, like a low angel shot of a majestic fire tiger or something you you hit enter and then you get the prompt you have initially you you have i think 30 videos or 20 videos or so you can create with a free account per month and then if you want to create more you need to have a paid uh, account i currently have i uh, don't have the paid account usually i pay pretty i pay a lot of uh, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of for ai tools but um uh, yeah, I will probably pay for it if my daughter wants to play with it more. Here is, um, speaking of my daughter, she likes K-pop a lot. So I wanted to uh, create a prompt for her. A Japanese K-pop idol, 20 year black hair woman dancing in cherry blossom rain. So, so she likes this kind of stuff. And I mean, it's great, right? I, I couldn't have made it better for sure. <laughs> for sure. So I think it's like it has outperformed uh, me. So. Who am I to cr to critique it? It feels a bit, of course, like the initial version of Dali or so, right? Or the initial version of Mid Journey. Um, it, it is like we won, right? The first publicly available version, but of course it will it will scale up. We will scale up, easily scale up to 10 times compute or so. We will see much much better algorithms and uh, real time capabilities. So uh, video generation is a thing. Uh, we are that close to generate videos of anything about anything of any length we can consume it will change everything it will change youtube it will change uh, movie industry of course uh, we would see generative ai everywhere and it will be great for us nvidia shareholders okay so uh let's let's have a look at my at the second image i created here this i found more interested i used ChatGPT to, to help me create a prompt detailed prompt of a bee kind of a honey bee or so um that lands gently and extracts nectar from from a flower or so right and um and it gave me this one which looks great could pass the turing test for some right <laughs> some people are not that confident with uh bee identification with biological things like me could be fooled right at least from far away right and so i think it's 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 a good it's a solid solid clip um then i tried okay i, I read this somewhere that more than 50 percent of people would be okay with sexual contact uh, like um using ai in a sexual way so um having like sex with a robot or so if the robot is advanced enough and uh so obviously we all know that only girl will be um uh, is it no, only fans actually it's it's not only girl it's only fans right uh so only fans men and women holding hands and smiling in the camera but actually i give it the, the first prompt so yeah it will be used for these kind of applications for sure that's why i wanted to check it out what it what it can do also it would be great clickbait right but i didn't like pursue it uh, further maybe we can do it uh, live here give me like uh, only only fan is it only fans or is it i think it's only fans woman and man posing in front of camera the thing is okay it failed to to create okay this okay so it, so there are some some forbidden words it's still it's still like uh 
uh, sensor kind of, right? Okay, but at least this works. So the next prompt will be about a sci-fi city with neon lights, skyscrapers, flying vehicles, all the beautiful stuff. And you see here, flying vehicle, right? Like a scene like this, if you would invest not zero bucks as I have, but maybe invest a bit more in some tokens here, maybe a bit more, throw a bit more compute at it. It could be like a photorealistic scene. And we can imagine movie creators using, using this technology already to save millions and millions for video generation. So AI is real. <laughs> and as it will be used for video generation, we will see a 100x in compute demand. So it will be great for NVIDIA shareholders, as I already said. Um, here, this I found really interesting. I gave it an image of the, of the two Teslas you see initially, this one, and asked it to create a teleportation time machine in a person traveling from 2024, which is like the Tesla today, Berlin to 1940 Berlin, right? And uh, like I imagine something like the Tesla also flying, like a time machine, a flying car, but a Tesla. But okay, it didn't qu quite get it. But what it get, uh, get got is the, the, that 1940 Berlin was actually bombed, right? So there was like a war scenario. So it really figured this nicely out. Uh, I think it's like having this kind of world knowledge is so impressive. It is normal to us now after one, two years interacting with AI, but, uh, but I still find it so fascinating that they have the world knowledge that they really get this context understanding uh, of humanity. We are so advanced. Uh, we are, we are such an advanced society now, it's really impressive, it's mind-boggling, mind it's not, it's indistinguishable from magic, right? We are, we are living in a sci-fi world and it's really fascinating. Here in this video I wanted to show a near future scenario where a human interacts with their highly advanced robot companion in a modern home. The video can highlight the robot's abilities and the seamless integration of AI into daily life. So it sees like a kitchen scenario, so like something every day, right? An everyday situation. We have the real human, we have the AI uh, humanoid bot, like it looks a bit more cy cyber, um, like a cyber uh, human, right? And cyborg, sorry. And uh, it, it looks a bit futuristic, the whole environment. And yeah, so it's solid video. Also, also quality again looks a bit like Dali in its first versions. But but I mean, we have seen what happens, right? We have seen like the initial broken humans, like the Will Smith eating spaghetti <laughs> kind of uh, image generation to the stunningly um, stunning images of man and woman looking just just like real persons indistinguishable from real persons here uh, i had i have the prompt i used the prompt create a scene where a modern day hiker stumbles upon an ancient mystical forest filled with glowing plants ethereal spirits and a hidden portal to another dimension really great right here you see the hidden dimension It's also mystical, right? I mean, what is this? <laughs> what is this kind of... I mean, is it... Is it another being? Is it a ghost? Spirit? The light? The light comes from the bottom, right? From the forest. It's, it's almost like this Avatar movie where, where we have the life energy emitting from the earth, emitting from... from... Uh, the Maya, the, the, the Earth. <laughs> okay, so very interesting stuff. Okay, this one is actually my preferred video. I gave it an image of Chen Sen Wang, the founder of NVIDIA, and uh, asked it a photorealistic CEO of a tech company transforming into a digital cyber humanoid robot. Now it uses this image and then very seamlessly, um, um, seamlessly changed the fa facial attributes and everything so that it looks more like a cyborg now in the end, right? Very futuristic. Okay, so uh, so I think it's a great tool. We can already see um, we can already see what what will happen um, in uh, in a few short months. We will see stunningly realistic videos, and the world will be different, and it will be normal for us in, in very little time. But it's it's really fascinating right 
And here we, you have the different plans and pricing plans that are possible. Here you have 30 generations per month free and then you would pay like up to 500 bucks. I can already see like people in the movie industry paying for Premiere, even though the quality isn't good enough in my opinion yet. But maybe if you pay Premiere or so you get better quality, it could be. No, it's directly moving me to the Stripe account. Okay, so whatever, thanks for watching this video. If uh, you want to stay tuned with the latest AI trends and subscribe to the Finkster channel, give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to really dive deep into uh, the new AI technology, if you want to become a beneficiary of AI um, and use by using automatically AI in your own tools, in your own life, then check out the Finkster Academy. So just type in academy.finkster.com, Finkster, F-I-N-X-T-E-R. Um, I will also give a link in the description below. Uh, check out the Academy courses because in the courses we actually teach you how to scale up your productivity as a programmer, as an AI engineer by 1000x using these kind of AI tools. Doing things that were previously impossible. Thanks for again for being part of the Finkster family. I appreciate having you here. I, I appreciate you and see you in the next video. Bye.